it's no longer news that uh, how much endurance women have been you know um having or rather coping with in their home rather than enjoying their homes their, uh, their families their marriages they do more of endurance when they go through domestic violence um, you hear a woman tell you that I, I have to stay because of my child, because of my children. Oh, what will happen, happen to my children? And before you know it, um, her life is threatened. Most times, um, they lose their lives. But we have the opinion that whatever it is, we specifically, at this foundation, what we, we say, at the only point where we admit for any woman to stay away, or to get separated, or to take a break from her home, is where there is domestic violence, where she doesn't feel, where she no longer feels safe. If it gets to that point where you no longer feel safe with whoever it is that you are living with, be it a husband, your in-laws, or whatever, we say take a break, take a walk, find solutions, all right? It's possible that you can still find solutions and then work it out. But in a situation whereby solutions cannot be found, at that point we say take a bow. Everybody deserves to live a life in, in fullness, in joy and laughter and happiness and not in endurance. And nobody, is de nobody deserves to get married and die there. Marriage is not for you to go and die. It's for you to go have a, a partner and live joyful, live a happily ever after with, not to endure till death. May we not endure our homes and marriages till death in this Okay, people are going to learn from you. It's not enough. If you go to prison, you know, to leave your marriage. Marriage you have built, you have your husband there, you have your children there for years. When you leave, another woman will take over and she may bear that infidelity from the man and live there happily and benefit everything you have worked for. Right. And if you're leaving, even if you have another man outside, you're going to. Who told you that man is a saint? Right. You may see faces. So, and then you choose to you just be in one house, or you choose to rent and enjoy your marriage and other things. If you get it's not enough for you to leave your marriage, if you are enjoying other things in that marriage, if you have your children around you, you have other good things around you, you have your job, you have your a lot of things to enjoy. Even the family, even the family of the man as well. Thank you. Then why Thank should you, you so just much. leave? Right. Because the man is not faithful to you or something. I don't think it's a um, for me, infidelity is a deal breaker for some one house. For me, infidelity is a deal breaker for so many women. One, you're talking about STDs, you're talking about general diseases, you're talking about HIV virus, you're talking about bringing in other spirits and energy into your home. Because the moment the man sticks into another woman's something is bound to come with him, right. something is bound to follow. You're also talking about your life because every time the man goes to meet the side chick, bear you me, that side chick is already eyeing your position and wants to go to a native doctor to kill you, wants to destroy your children's life. So the man's chick is actually exposing the family, the friend, the wife, and everybody danger. So for some people, it's a deal breaker. As soon as you go out there and you are warned one, two, three times and it's become a norm for you, the woman packs her things and goes because she has looked at it. She doesn't want to swipe with the side chick. She probably doesn't want to uh, end up uh, as uh, being killed by the side chick who is desperately wanting to take over her place. She doesn't also want the side chick to fight against her children or go the other way around uh, doing charms and all that. So there are, there, are, there are different reasons where people you know, want to leave. So for me, for me, so for me, it's enough to walk out. Because for me, I feel that young ladies first of all should be established before they enter their marriage. Because some people some people feel like is a man that needs to have the money so that we take care of you, so that we take care of you. That's why they will not be going out and go and be doing that. Yeah, sure. So my own is easy now because once he is starting, sometimes it's very difficult to end. He will continue. And it will be just easy well. for it to end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you will, will keep, I said even the, 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 the ends and everything. Once the woman finds out, she she she's she's not she's not yeah. And then the marriage will never be the same. Also, she, she doesn't even want to tell him and she's hiding it and she's keeping it, working everything. Okay. That's where you. Thank you.
Audible, the audible. No matter what it is, especially when children are involved. Because at the end of the day, they are the ones that suffer it. I that I'm standing, it's not as if my dad had the side chain, but marrying the second wife. And I know how it didn't go down well with my mom. She left. And I know how we suffered. In fact, some of us up to now are still trying to, you know, our balance. The other time I was talking to my younger brother, and he told me that when my mom left, the depressed thing and so many things. Where's this children we say? Okay, I'm talking on cheating, not violence. If violence is involved, Thank you. Give 
give a chance. The same Bible is saying that it is easier to forgive. It is infidelity. Yes, infidelity. The same Bible also talks about it is cheaper to forgive your partner than no. Then I want to tell us, pray that you don't marry a man, a man that beats you every day. You will know that, you know, beating, beating is Thank you. I want to say a big thank you to you once again. Thank you for your views. This was just a tip, exactly, of the advice. But I want to say Merry Christmas in advance and Happy New Year. Let's do this in the year 2024. We shall do, we shall hold seminars, we shall gather more and um, uh, have more educative uh, topics um, as far as um, gathering women, family, relationships is concerned. Thank you so very much for coming and God bless you. Merry Christmas! We wish you!